Welcome to the operator training for the LXC Series Dishwasher. The LXC Series Dishwashers are fully automatic, front-loading dishwashing machines. This video is a supplement to your operator's manual. The LXC models are capable of up to 25 to 30 racks per hour, depending on options and settings, and will shut down automatically four hours after the last use to conserve energy. The high temp machines include sensor temp to ensure proper hot water temperature during rinse. Standard equipment include two 20 by 20 inch racks, electronic controls, drain pump, rinse pump, chemical pumps, fill hose, and drain hose. The advanced models include advanced technology such as notification of clogged wash arm nozzles. The rinse arms are easy to remove thanks to a new snap-in design. Advanced models are equipped with an internal D-Lime pump that will automatically pump the required amount of D-Liming agent into the machine. LXCC and LXCH are equipped with an automatic D-Limer cycle reminder. On the Advances High Temp model, a steam reduction system allows for energy saving and a more comfortable experience for the operator by limiting the heat and moisture escaping into the room. The LXE Series Wear Washer's microprocessor allows customization options for machine operation. To activate or change these features, the programming edit mode must be entered. The site preferences for the machine can be accessed and updated through a manager mode. The manager security code is 1001. All customization is performed through the on-screen menu using the up arrow, menu down arrow, and the enter key located on the keypad at the top of the machine. The up arrow and the menu down arrow keys are used to change parameter values and navigate the menu. The ENT or enter key is used to accept a value, to perform a specified action, or to enter a submenu. Text just to the right of the arrow on the display screen shows what action or command will occur if the enter key is pressed. The parameters menu can be entered and individual options can be modified anytime the machine is operating or idling. To enter the parameters menu, you must first enter the manager security code. Press the menu down arrow key from the main screen to enter the menus. Verify the arrow is to the left of the manager menu. If not, press the menu down arrow key until the arrow is to the left of the manager menu. Press the enter key to indicate that you want to enter the manager menu. The prompt enter security code display is in the top line. Use the up arrow and menu down arrow keys to enter the security code. You have correctly entered the manager programming if the arrow is located to the left of edit parameters. Press the enter key to enter the parameters menu. You can use the up arrow or menu down arrow keys to explore the parameters menu. Pressing the enter key allows you to enter that parameter and modify the setting. For a list of parameter options, refer to the parameters menu table in your manual. To exit the manager menu and return to the main menu, use the menu down key and scroll down to exit menu and press the enter key. To exit the main menu and return to the normal machine operation display mode, use the menu down arrow key and scroll down to exit menu and press the enter key. Make sure the coarse and fine strainers are in place and free of debris. Check both wash arms and rinse arms to make sure they spin freely and are not clogged. Dishes must be scraped and or rinsed to remove food particles and other debris. Never use steel wool on wear to be loaded into the dishwasher. Place dishes in a rack. Do not stack dishes on top of each other as water must have free access to all sides of every dish. Stand plates edgewise in a peg type rack. Cups, glasses, and bowls should lie upside down in an open or compartment type rack. Don't allow foreign objects to enter the unit, especially metallic contaminants such as staples and paper clips. Check to see if any detergent, rinse aid, or sanitizer needs to be replenished. Use only commercial type detergents as prescribed by your chemical professional. Note items such as pewter, aluminum, and silver will be attacked by sodium hypochlorite or bleach. Therefore, chemical sanitizing dishwashers should not be used to wash such items. During operation, frequently check the sanitizer bottle to make sure there is a sufficient chemical supply. To operate the machine, press the power button. The display will show the model number and perform a self-check. 
Then the machine will begin to fill. Fill will appear on the display and the temperature will be displayed. The warming up icon will be displayed when the booster is preheating on models LXEH and LXER. This preheat could take up to 15 minutes. If the door is open during the fill cycle, fill will stop and resume once the door is closed. Once ready is lit and the machine is at the proper temperature, the operator can open the door and slide a rack of dishes into the dishwasher. Then close the door. The operator presses wash. The machine initiates the wash and rinse cycle. Wash text and the wash icon will be displayed. The sump temperature will be displayed during the wash cycle. During rinse, the rinse icon is displayed and the rinse temperature is displayed. If the door is open during the wash, rinse, or drain cycle, the cycle will continue from the point where the door was open. If power is pressed during the cycle, the machine will drain and shut down. When the cycle is complete, the ready text will be displayed and the sump temperature shown. The operator may then unload the rack and reload the machine for the next wash rinse cycle. If the machine is not used for four continuous hours, the machine will shut down to save energy. At the end of the day, press the power button. The display will show drain and shutdown in progress. When finished draining, the display will shut down. The wash rinse cycle times are listed in your manual. The wash rinse cycle times for the LXEC and the LXEH are listed here. The wash rinse cycle times for the LXEPR are listed here. And finally, the wash rinse cycle times for the LXER are listed here. Maximum wash times may vary depending on operation voltage and incoming water temperature. The following are diagnostic and error messages that might be displayed. Low rinse temperature will display after three consecutive low temperatures. The machine will continue to run cycles. If the low rinse temperature error occurs for 10 consecutive cycles, the error will change and suggest that a qualified service technician is contacted. The machine will continue to run cycles. If the low water in the booster error or low water in the sump error is displayed, the machine will not wash and will only allow a power down. A drain error will be displayed if the water level in the unit does not respond to a drain command. The machine will not wash and will only allow power down. A chemical sensor error will allow the machine to continue to run cycles, however, service is required. On the advanced models, the clogged wash arm error will display if the wash arm is blocked or clogged, which can result in poor wash results. Follow the on-screen instructions. This machine must be cleaned at least once each working day. Use only products formulated to be safe on stainless steel. Press power. The machine will drain. When the display is no longer lit, open the door and remove any debris from the bottom of the tank. Do not allow food soil to accumulate on the tank bottom. On LXCC and LXCH models, remove the lower rinse arm by unscrewing the thumb nut. On the LXCPR and the LXCR models, remove the lower rinse arm by pressing in on the buttons located on the sides of the center hub and pull off. Remove the upper rinse and wash arms in the same manner. Remove the coarse and fine strainers. Thoroughly clean these items in a sink. Remove debris from the wash rinse arm nozzles. With a damp cloth, wipe the interior of the machine. Do not use steel wool. Wipe the exterior of the machine. Remove any remaining debris with a mild cleanser formulated for stainless steel and a soft cloth or brush. Replace the fine and coarse strainers. Reinstall the lower wash arm. Replace the upper wash arm. Spin the arms to make sure they spin freely. Repeat this procedure for the lower arms as well. Use a soft, damp cloth or sponge and mild cleanser to clean the control keypad and display. Do not use abrasive or harsh cleaners or scouring pads. Leave the door ajar overnight to allow the interior to air out and dry. Warning. Deliming solution, rinse agents, or any other kind of acid must not come into contact with bleach or rinse solution containing bleach using chemical sanitizing machines. Mixing may cause hazardous gas to form. 
This entire procedure must be followed step by step for safe and satisfactory results. Notice, do not allow the deliming agent to remain in the machine longer than recommended by the deliming agent manufacturer. If deliming is necessary, a deliming agent should be used for the best results. After the pre-programmed number of cycles has expired, the control will indicate the delime request by displaying delime recommended and will prompt, would you like to delime now? You must enter yes or no to proceed with the delime cycle or to continue with normal machine operation. If no is selected, the machine will continue to notify the operator at each startup and power down until the delime cycle is completed. To delime the unit, press the menu down arrow key until the arrow is shown to the left of yes and press the enter key. Remove any dish racks from the machine, remove strainers from the machine and clean and replace. Close the door. On LXEPR and LXER models, ensure the delimer chemical container is not empty. Be sure to push the delivery tube standpipe completely to the bottom of the container. Check to make sure there are no obstructions or kinks in the delivery tube. Press the enter key to enter the delime mode. The machine will drain and refill with fresh water. On LXEC and LXEH models, the display will prompt, add delime agent once the fill cycle has completed. Open the door and add the deliming agent. After the deliming agent has been added, close the door. Press the enter key to continue the cycle. The machine will enter the wash mode for 10 to 15 minutes, then will begin two rinse and drain operations. On LXEPR and LXER models, the unit will automatically enter the wash mode for 10 to 15 minutes, and then will begin two rinse and drain operations after the fill cycle is complete. After the deliming operation is completed, power to the control will be turned off. Inspect the interior of the machine for lime deposits. If necessary, another delime cycle can be initiated by entering the manager programming mode. This is a short list of do's and don'ts for your Hobart dishwasher that will help you get the most out of your dishwasher and maintain your Hobart warranty. Do assure proper water hardness. Do pre-scrape dishes thoroughly. Do use only detergents recommended by your chemical professional. Do, at the end of the day, thoroughly cleanse the machine, rinse and dry, leaving the door open. Do use only products formulated to be safe on stainless steel. Do not use detergents formulated for residential dishwashers. Do not allow food soil to accumulate on the tank bottom do not exceed the chemical manufacturer's recommended concentrations for detergent, sanitizer, rinse aid, or lime scale remover. Do not use steel wool to clean wear or wear washer surface. Do not allow foreign objects to enter the unit, especially metallic contaminants. For a complete troubleshooting list, refer to your operator's manual. This has been the operator training for the Hobart LXE series dishwasher. Thanks for your time. If you have further questions, please check your manual or contact Hobart Service.